Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Rebellion XD shock absorbing ball mount. So the main feature of this ball mount and what really sets it apart from others is the built-in cushioning mechanism. So you can kind of see how these are two different pieces here. And there's going to be some built-in rubber dampening sort of similar to a torsion axle. Now what this dampening does is this is going to help smooth out the ride. It's going to make your trailer a lot less bouncy and you're not going to be feeling those road shocks and absorptions because everything is going to be taking place right here in this little rubber cushioning. Therefore, we hit a huge pothole in our trailer. That's not going to transfer the shock to our vehicle and us in the driver's seat. These rubber cushioning mechanisms are going to do a great job of absorbing that shock. We have some built-in rubber cushioning here, and we also have a rubber bumper in the back of the ball platform. So this ball mount here, it does a great job of reducing all those road shocks and vibrations. So in order to keep those internal rubber bumpers nice and new and working properly, there actually is a built-in Zerk fitting here on the back of the shank. This ball mount here has a two inch shank. So this is a two inch solid shank. So any trailer hitch receivers that have that industry standard two inch by two inch are gonna be fine. However, if you have a larger receiver, such as a two and a half inch or a three inch, they do make those, you can still use this, but you will need an adapter to go from that three inch to the two inch or from the two and a half to the two inch, which we do sell here at E-Trailer. So in regards to capacity, this is a very heavy duty ball mount. So it's gonna be rated for trailers up to 15,000 pounds with a tongue weight rating of 1,500 pounds. So as long as your trailer's under that, this is gonna be the perfect ball mount for you. So the beauty of an adjustable ball mount is that we can easily change our hitch ball height depending on what trailer we're gonna be towing so we can tow nice and level. Now the adjustments here for this particular ball mount allow us to have up to a six inch drop. So you can see this is also a dual ball mount, meaning we have a hitch ball, one size welded to the top of this platform and another size welded to the bottom. And those two sizes are gonna be the most common ones, two inch and two and five sixteenths inches. So you would easily just flop this around depending on what trailer you're gonna be towing and what size coupler it has. So we talked about the hitch size compatibility being designed for couplers with either a two inch or a two and five sixteenths inch coupler. However, if you have some of those larger trailers or even those ag trailers that have a lunette ring on there, you can actually purchase a pintle hook adapter so you can use a pintle hook with this ball mount as well. So keep in mind that the 15K and 1500 pound weight capacity is when you're using the two and five sixteenths inch hitch ball. While you're using the two inch hitch ball, those capacities are gonna be reduced to 10,000 pounds and 1,000 pounds. So with your ball mount, you're gonna get this portion here, which is just the main shank assembly. You're gonna get the ball platform, and then you're gonna get two pins with this little locking ring to secure the adjustment portion. Something you're not gonna get that you will need is a hitch pin. Now, with that being said, this is a very expensive ball mount, so someone could easily just come up here and take this off if you use a standard hitch pin like this. You would just pull the clip out, pull the hitch pin out, and someone could run off. And we certainly don't want that. Therefore, I highly recommend that you guys go with a locking hitch pin for this particular ball mount, we have plenty of options to choose from here at E-Trailer. We also have a three pin key to like option here so you can match the locks for the hitch pin and your two adjustment pins as well. So in regards to the finish of your ball mount, which is important because ball mounts are highly abused items. Uh, you're constantly slamming this in and out of the hitch and you're constantly hitting trailers on it. So these definitely do experience some wear and tear. So it's important to have a nice protective coating on there because if you were to wear that off, that's gonna rust underneath. So having that durable finish on there is gonna keep your ball mount looking new and prevent any structural issues from rust. So speaking more about the durability of this product, in addition to the finish, our hitch balls here are actually made of stainless steel. So one of the more common, more cost-effective hitch ball construction options on the market is just a metal within a chrome plating over it. And although that does work okay, over time, as you begin to wear that coating off, you're gonna expose the bare metal underneath and that's how the hitch balls rust. With these stainless steel hitch balls, you won't have any of those issues. So keep in mind, this ball mount isn't for everyone. And the reason for that is due to the extreme drop we get with this, we have a large uh, sort of vertical portion here. And what can happen is if your truck isn't raised high enough, this can actually cause ground clearance issues, especially if you go up some steep driveway. So you guys need to keep this in mind when you're looking at a ball mount. Uh, for this one here, as we said, the six inches of drop is great, but it's gonna be for those lifted trucks, those lifted half tons or those three quarter tons and one tons. So just to give you a measurement here, we're gonna measure from the top of the shank 
to the bottom most part of the ball mount and you're looking at about 10 inches. So just keep this measurement in mind here for your clearance. And that's gonna do it today for our look at the Kurt XD shock absorbing ball mount.